If you like what you see here, please donate to modernpagan.tv. Just go to our website, www.modernpagan.tv, and look for the donate button. We appreciate your contributions to keep modernpagan.tv on the air and on the internet. And now, back to live modernpagan.tv. Chocolate left anywhere? Uh, not that I can no? see. Okay, good. I thought I got it all up. You Give me your shirt. It probably is. <laughs> all right. um, that was great fun, and I can hardly wait to next week when we learn to do truffles because they're fun and easy and yummy. Um, wanted to remind everybody about how they can join the show. They can join the show from the website. They can get in the chat room. We have a chat room going on. We have. Um, Skype, if you want to Skype in. In fact, um, in two weeks, we have um, a speaker from Canada. Oh, Claire. Claire. Yeah, yeah. is uh, going to Skype in from Canada. Great. So uh, our first international Skype. So yeah. that's really, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so I think that that's really, um, I think that that's really cool. Um, also want to remind people that if you have a music video that you would like us to air in our pre-open segment, that we would love to do that for you. Um, so just um, info at modernpagan.tv and you'll get that information to us. And also, if, um, if you'd like to be a guest, I mean, I think that's important too. So if you want to be a guest, they should let us know. Not only do we have our incredibly resourceful local community, but there's the whole national and international right. community all available to us because this is the World Wide Web. I know. That is so cool. That is so cool. Well, I'm going to do Laura's Timely Tips. So I'm sure that it won't come as a surprise to any of you um, the way I feel about the environment and our planet and the people like the FDA and their friends Monsanto who are out to ruin it. And a lot of times people say, well, you know, let's have this intellectual discussion and let's think about this. And, and it's like, you know what? I don't, I don't think we need to think about it. And, and also, um, you know the saying, out of the mouths of babes? Well, I have a little YouTube clip um, with an 11-year-old uh, by the name of um, Burke Bear. And he's going to talk about his perception of Monsanto. Now, the only video clip I could find has Polish subtitles. Believe it or not, I, I, I don't know why. I mean, you know... And, um, but, I mean, it's Burke is speaking in English, so, so let's load that up and let's watch it and let's just see what children know about what's going on in our environment, our very erudite. I'm 11 years old. I came here today to talk about what's wrong with our food system. First of all, I would like to say that I'm really amazed how easily kids are led to believe all the marketing and advertising on TV, at public schools, and pretty much everywhere else you look. It seems to me like corporations are always trying to get kids, like me, to get their parents to buy stuff that really isn't good for us or the planet. Little kids especially are attracted by colorful packaging and plastic toys. I must admit, I used to be one of them. I also used to think that all of our food came from these happy little farms where pigs rolled in mud and cows grazed on grass all day. What I discovered was this is not true. I began to look into this stuff on the internet, in books, and in documentary films, in my travels with my family. I discovered the dark side of the industrialized food system. First, there's genetically engineered seeds and organisms. That is when a seed is manipulated in a laboratory to do something not intended by nature. Like taking the DNA of a fish and putting it into the DNA of a tomato. Yuck. Don't get me wrong. 
I like fish and tomatoes, but this is just creepy. The seeds, the seeds have been planted, then grown. The food they produce has been proven to cause cancer and other problems in lab animals. And people have been eating food produced this way since the 1990s. And most folks don't even know they exist. Did you know rats that genetically engineered corn had developed signs of liver and kidney toxicity? These include kidney inflammation and lesions and decreased kidney weight. Yet almost all the corn we eat has been altered genetically in some way. And let me tell you, corn is in everything. And don't even get me started on the confined animal feeding operations called CAFOs. <laughs> Conventional farmers use chemical fertilizers made from, troll, made from fossil fuels that they mix with the dirt to make plants grow. They do this because they strip the soil from all nutrients, from growing the same crop over and over again. Next, more harmful chemicals are sprayed on fruits and vegetables, like pesticides and herbicides, to kill weeds and bugs. When it rains, these chemicals seep into the ground or run off into our waterways, poisoning our water too. Then they irradiate our food, trying to make it last longer, so it can travel thousands of miles from where it's grown to the supermarkets. So I ask myself, how can I change? How can I change these things? This is what I found out. I discovered that there's a movement for a better way. Now, a while back, I wanted to be an NFL football player. I decided that I'd rather be an organic farmer instead. That way... <laughs> Thank you. And that way, I can have a greater impact on the world. I learned about this guy named Joel Salatin. They call him a lunatic farmer because he grows against the system. Since I'm homeschooled, I want to go hear him speak one day. This man, this lunatic farmer, doesn't use any pesticides, herbicides, or genetically modified seeds. And so for that, he is called crazy by the system. I want you to know that we can all make a difference by making different choices, by buying our food directly from local farmers or neighbors who we know in real life. I'll, some people say organic or local food is more expensive, but is it really? With all these things I've been learning about the food system, it seems to me that we can either pay the farmer or we can pay the hospital. I know... <laughs> now, I know, one, I know definitely which one I would choose. I want you to know that there are farms out there, like Bill Keener and Sequatchie Coast Farms in Tennessee, whose cows do eat grass and whose pigs do roll in the mud, just like I thought. Sometimes I go to Bill's farm and volunteer so I can see up close and personal where the meat I eat comes from. I want you to know that I believe kids will eat fresh vegetables and good food if they know more about it and where it really comes from. I want you to know that there are farmer's markets in every community popping up. I want you to know that me, my brother, and sister actually like eating baked kale chips. I try to share this everywhere I go. Not too long ago, my uncle said that he offered my six-year-old cousin cereal. He asked if he wanted organic toasted O's or the sugar-coated flakes. You know, the one with the big striped cartoon carrots on the front? My little cousin told his dad that he would rather have the organic toasted O cereal because Burke said he shouldn't eat sparkly cereal. <laughs> and that, my friends, is how we can make a difference, one kid at a time. So next time you're at the grocery store, think local. Choose organic, know your farm, and know your food. Thank you. <laughs>